a turbocharger, is nothing but a centrifugal compressor. The principle here, is forced induction. It's the process of forcing compressed air into the intake for combustion. First, we will see the basic parts of a turbocharger. A turbocharger consists of, a compressor housing, compressor wheel, turbine wheel, turbine housing, connecting shaft, bearings, and oil seals. The middle part hold together, is called a cartridge. The compressor wheel and the turbine wheel are connected with a shaft, so that turning the turbine wheel, will turn the compressor wheel. A turbocharger, is designed to rotate over a hundred thousand rpm, an oil feed line, from the engine, will lubricate the shaft and the bearings, providing less friction. Now, let's see how the turbocharger works with the engine. An engine without any forced induction device, is a naturally aspirated engine. The air is pulled in through an air filter, by the suction force of the piston. Then it gets mixed with the fuel, compressed, and gets ignited. With the turbocharger introduced, the exhaust gas from combustion, turns the turbine wheel. This turns the compressor wheel, and more air is compressed and fed to the engine. Let's take a closer look. The exhaust gas from the engine, will push the turbine wheel, and this turns the compressor wheel, forcing more air into the engine. According to gas laws, for a constant volume, increasing the air pressure will increase its temperature. So there will be a difference in temperature after charging. Forcing this air into the engine, can reduce efficiency and cause knocking. In order to cool this air, an intercooler is introduced. An intercooler is an air-to-air -air heat exchanger device, which helps to cool this air before it enters the engine. So introducing an intercooler into the system, will increase the charge density, by cooling the air, and provides volumetric efficiency. In conclusion, a turbocharger will provide more air, to expand on combustion, and produces more power. And that's how a turbocharger works.